Welcome to Comfort Hack number two. So, hello to my 100 followers. I'm the 101 person. So, I'm making this video just to have some fun from my sociology class because I tried to send a good video to my teacher. I'm pretty sure I failed. I'm also pretty sure that the mask is muffling my voice. So, here's what you need to know about James Williams Jr. I am part Native American. I am part black. I am part white. I stand five foot three and a half inches tall. I weigh about 120 pounds. I am a veteran of the United States military. And this cosplay thing I got going on, well, I would have put the whole uniform on, but I'm pressed for time and I have to actually go work my real job, which is cleaning up behind handicapped people. It's not really fun, but I need a job. And somebody just cussed into my background. I hope you guys don't really hear the GD that just came out of somebody's mouth as I'm trying to film as they see my bloody lights are on. Yeah, those lights. This is the child that I saved from a giant panda. The panda is currently incapacitated because I knocked it out. Okay? And it sleeps with its eyes open. So if you're from my sociology class and you've actually come to see this, you pretty much know what I look like under the mask. But I put this outfit on to give you a closer in-depth of how um, behind the camera you can actually be yourself and not have any fear. And for me, I do my best work behind the camera because I'm also an independent filmmaker. You can go to any one of these videos here and you can see this on Kung Fu Havoc number one and Kung Fu Havoc number two. Silas Fighter, I'm secretly making a small Scarlet Spider film. I'm lacking a bad guy right now. And I actually probably have to reshoot everything because mostly I have training with uh, these martial art weapons. No. Yeah. And if you're on my Instagram, you would see me um, do some Kung Fu. with this hula hoop thing, simulating a ring. I'm gonna save up money and actually get the real ring because this thing's bent over. But I do teach people how to use unorthodox martial art weapons in an unorthodox martial art style. Let me know when you really wanna learn some Kung Fu. Until then, you can find all my Kung Fu stuff right here on Kung Fu Havoc number two. So, thanks for watching. I hope people from my sociology class actually come and chill. Don't worry. I won't be wearing the mask forever, unless you prefer to see me in the mask, because that would be awesome to actually be in class in a mask. I also feel more comfortable behind this thing than I do with my actual face. Is the mask muffling my voice?